Science is helping historians learn more about New Mexico's first state monument. News 13 Stephanie Chavez shows you how past and current technology is bringing new discoveries for the Coronado Historic Site. Just because this site was heavily excavated in the 30s and it's been studied for over 75 years doesn't mean that we know everything. The Coronado Historic Site, named after the 16th century Spanish explorer Francisco Vazquez de Coronado, is still yielding answers. In 2017, artifacts were linked to Coronado and his army, confirming his presence on the Cuauhua Pueblo near Bernalillo. The large numbers of Spanish metal artifacts, such as the musket balls and the chain mail, along with Native American weapons, such as uh, war mauls, axes, and sling stones, represent a battle. People resisted here at Kuawa. Today, the work to learn more continues, this time with the help of technology at Los Alamos National Lab. So for this project, we analyzed the two artifacts using a variety of instrumentation that are non-destructive so that they don't harm or damage the samples in any way. X-ray analysis techniques were recently used to inspect two fragile pieces of history, a copper pendant and a copper crossbow coral. X-ray fluorescence is a technique where we can identify what elements that the material is composed of and that gives us an idea of what alloys are present and by putting that together with other historical information we can get a better idea of where it came from. A 3D image of the sample gives us a glimpse inside the object. Which provides evidence of the presence of Coronado and his expedition uh, at the location that they were discovered. And teaches us more about the people who once lived at the now historic site. We may never know everything about this site or about the people that lived here, uh, but as uh, archaeology develops, every generation comes up with brand new technologies that allow us to learn more. Stephanie Chavez, KRQE News 13. The National Lab analyzed the artifacts as part of a community technical assistance grant awarded to the historic site.